Lyra represents Rockport's flagship product. It's our most ambitious product. It's the culmination of everything we've learned over the years. I would make the argument that it's the most ambitious enclosure ever made for a loudspeaker. The Lyra is a watermark moment in Rockport's history because it's the first time our flagship product actually got smaller. It's offering better performance, better base, in a smaller package that could actually fit into a regular space. The Lyra is functionally a three and a half way, where we have the two 10 inch base drivers going up to meet the mid ranges. The two mid ranges roll in at about 150 hertz, but only one of those goes up to meet the tweeter. The best architecture was the three and a half way. We originally started out open-minded and wanted to explore all of the different possibilities and that was the one that was clearly the best. Both the 10 inch base drivers and the six inch mid-range units use custom carbon fiber sandwich composite cones and the motor circuits are all custom designed by us and built for us specifically. The frames are all custom, the roll surrounds are all custom, spiders, even the terminals. So these drivers are specifically designed for their application. We're really pleased with the tweeter for the Lyra. We've used the ScanSpeak Beryllium Dome tweeter and mounted it to our own custom machined waveguide and have gotten a very different result from it than the standard tweeter. The Lyra has led the direction for all of our current products. For example, all of our speakers now incorporate a waveguide beryllium tweeter. That technology was originally developed for the Lyra project. It actually came out first on the Cygnus, but that's because the development of the Lyra took many years and the Cygnus was able to happen within that time span. The waveguide tweeter is a major improvement in the dynamic expression at the lower part of the tweeter, but it's also an improvement that allows us to help the mid-range frequencies because we can use different crossover topologies. So it's a major improvement. The Lyra has shown us many more things that will lead us in new directions in the future. And that's one of the reasons we do a flagship product all of our products are somewhat no holds barred, but the Lyra is truly no holds barred, and we've learned a lot of new things. The Lyra enclosure is a refinement of the technology that we started almost 30 years ago. And what makes it principally different is, first of all, instead of using carbon fiber or glass fiber shells, we're using cast aluminum. The benefit of using the aluminum castings is we're able to create complex geometries that would be almost impossible to create with other materials. To best exploit the high hysteresis damping material, there are interleaving features that are formed on the outside of the Lyra's inner cabinet and the inside of the Lyra's outer cabinet. Due to the specific geometry and the interleaving features, even the smallest deflection in the cabinet will create shear in the core material. It is by far the most rigid and quietest loudspeaker enclosure of any production loudspeaker. The assembly process for the Lyra is also quite unique, as you might imagine. We essentially drop the inner shell into the outer shell and bond the two parts together at the rabbit line. Once the parts are bonded together at the rabbit line and they have had time to cure, then we turn the entire assembly over and begin the filling process. It takes an entire day to prepare 300 pounds of urethane to fill one pair of cabinets. After a 24-hour cure cycle, the inner and outer housing and the damping core have all been consolidated into one massively stiff, unbelievably well damped and rigid system. What's really unique about the cabinet is its beautiful simplicity. It has been reduced to only two parts and the core material. There's no fasteners, there's no joinery. The Lyra project started in 2013, but the product wasn't even launched until 2016. And that's because a flagship product like this, where you're doing all new technology and trying new things, is very difficult. And in fact, in this case, the tooling on the enclosure took three complete versions before it was exactly where we wanted it to be. The Lyra is part of the continuum of what Andy Power has always been trying to achieve. He's always worked to lower noise, reduce distortions, increase dynamic expression and microdynamic expression so that the music can come through without the speaker imparting its own characteristics. The most exciting thing is that the new Lyra is the greatest leap forward in all those categories that we've ever made. 
Its ability to get beyond the mere drudgery of playing the notes and transcend into the realm of actually communicating the artist's musical intent is what makes it special.